Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please uh, maintain your language in the chat. Otherwise, I'm going to block it anytime we see a bad language going there. We will not tolerate anyone, even if you claim to be Christian, because there's many Muslims who come to the chat using Christian names and they use a bad language. So anyone will use a bad language, doesn't matter what you do. Who are you? We will block you. Very simple. Today we have a sheikh from Nigeria. His name is uh, Sheikh. Uh, what was your name? I forgot his name. Anyway, his name is in the title, you know. And uh, somebody from Nigeria, I guess, or Sierra Leone, I'm not sure where. Uh, he sent me saying uh, this Sheikh is, uh, you know, debating Christians, and he debated uh, uh, James White. Uh, and uh, is according to the person supposedly like he need to be refuted I don't know if I can refute someone like this this guy is so powerful you know I was actually hesitating even to talk about him because uh, I mean I don't know, already you can tell from my voice I, mean, I don't know how I can debate this person so before we start I say to this gentleman I invite you to tell me when you can call me or when I can call you and let everybody see how much you know about your cult you know that's what happened these days anyone who have you know I mean it's a business a lot of money you know you open uh, you, you claim to be a sheik I mean is this guy is a sheik we will see how good he is so anyway we don't want to waste time he is always will come to call us even now if you come to the chat, say this is me. People will check that this is your, your this is your real channel, and I will give you a call immediately, and we will be happy to hear you. So let us listen to what this shake is saying, and please try not to laugh. Stop. Stop. I mean, this guy, he did not even start, and right away he started insulting Allah. He just said, and by the way, I like the Christmas lights on you. I mean, I don't know what this light in the video. I mean, you are like a Christmas tree to me, to me now. So he just said, guys, you can't hear him? Really, you can't hear him? Uh huh. Okay, hold on. I think we have a we have a sound difficulty. This is happening from yesterday, which is weird. Um, okay, hold on, hold on. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. You know, because I have like many degrees. One of them, actually, I'm the one who discovered the computer, so I can fix it so easy. You know, those. You know, we are the Arab. We are the one who made the computer. Before us, nobody knows what computer is. You know. Yeah, at that time. All right. You hear my voice, right? But you don't hear the video, correct? You don't hear the video. Okay, let me play the video again and tell me, do you hear the video? Do you hear? Oh, hold on, hold on. I found I found this the solution for this. Okay, hold on. It's a uh, it's from this problem here. All right, just give me a second. Man, oh man. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Here we go. We fix it. See, I told you, you know, we are the one who made the computers. <laughs> you don't believe me. It is Allah who inspired us to make computers before those go far, you know. So now you will hear him. You will be fine. Take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's working now. It's going to work. Let us start from zero. إن الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا أن هدانا الله 
stop. He just destroyed Islam in the first two seconds. He just said, thanks to Allah who guide us. If not Allah guide us, we will not be guided. Do you know what does that mean? You see, this is a big topic actually. The Quran make it clear that Allah is the one who guide and Allah is the one who misguide. So if we are debating about God, shouldn't we question first if this God is God? How this God is the one who deceive and he is the one who guide? Thanks to Allah who guide us. What about thanks to Allah to mislead us? Can we say the same? Hmm? In chapter 4, verse 143, it says, and by the way, I like your Arabic, you know, it's very good. Woman yudlil Allah, falan tajida lahu sabila. And the one who Allah deceive, he will not find for him a guidance. So what about you start the video saying, thanks to Allah, who misguided billions of people, and thanks to Allah, who, misgu who guided one billion of the people. What kind of religion this, you know, and and whom Allah, this is the Muslim translation, not mine, leaves a, str a strain, never will do find for him a way. Uh -huh. So why you send Muhammad to guide us? Oh no, Muhammad, he sent you to guide the one who Allah guide. So Muhammad, he have no job. <laughs> I mean, the story is over. Muhammad, he is sent to the one who Allah guide already. And the one who Allah guide, only the one who is guided and the one who Allah mislead, Muhammad cannot guide him. This is what the Quran is saying, by the way. The Quran is saying to Muhammad, you try to guide them or you don't try to guide them, that will not work. So do you see how you destroy the Islam in two seconds? What is left of Islam? This God, you know, uh, he is the one who guide, and he is the one who misguide, and that's mean he is double agent, uh, what's his name, James Bond, 0707, uh, he is the devil and he is God in the same time. He is the one who guide, uh, he is the one who misguide. If you go to chapter 17, verse number 97, look at this joke. It is he whom Allah guide, that is only true guidance, but he whom he leave as tree, for such they will find the protector for him. So, I mean, why you don't want to protect the one you leave astray? I mean, it's he's your victim. And the funny, they translate the word yudil as leave astray. The fact the word yudil is to deceive. I mean, what's wrong with this? Uh, do, should we continue? I mean, this guy is dead before we start. In chapter 18, <laughs> or let us say, in, uh, yeah, chapter, let us go to chapter 18. Chapter 18, verse number 17, it says, And the one, and the one who Allah deceive, for him you find no protector. I mean, you are the one who deceived them and you will not protect them. So Allah is like the scam cable who call you, he take your credit card, and then after he steal your credit card and take your money, he will say to you, hello, I cannot protect you, sorry, I am Allah the thief. <laughs> and I like this translation, he leave as three, huh? Isn't it the word yudlil mean to deceive? You did not even start your video and you've been spanked, not even the first two seconds. All of this in the Quran is, is the same, you know, garbage. So when a Muslim, he starts pra praising his God, he's praising the devil. He just told us, thanks to Allah who did not deceive us. He guide us because Allah have two jobs. He deceive and he guide.
In chapter 39, verse number 23, it says, And the one who Allah deceive, you will not find such anyone to guide him. So what Muhammad sent for? Muhammad sent to the believers or the one who they are guided by, or misguided by Allah? And we look at this game. So Allah, he misguided you, the brother. And now Allah, he decided to send his messenger. Okay? And now you are misguided, you will not listen to his messenger oh, anyway. And because this is Allah's decision that you will not be misguided, because it says there in front of you, you cannot find the guidance for him. That's it. So imagine if this guy is debating me in live debate. He will be in the floor in two seconds. Less than two seconds. <clears throat> Actually, the Quran is saying clearly that the one he's saying to Muhammad, although I'm speaking to Muhammad, that you try to guide them or not, that will not work. And those verses made by Muhammad to explain why, you know, uh, uh, why those people are not listening. So he want to blame Allah. Why those people, they don't believe in him? So he blamed Allah. This is how evil Muhammad is. He always put his problems on Allah. Allah is the problem. He is the one who must guide them what I can do. Read this verse with me and love. Chapter 16, verse number 37. Read and love. If you are anxious of their guidance, Yet Allah guide not such have leaves astray. So Muhammad is trying to guide them, but Allah he says, no, I will not guide them. So why you send Muhammad then? <laughs> Muhammad, he want to guide them. Okay, I'm going to guide you to Islam now. Allah, he said to him, shut up, you stupid idiot. How you can guide the one who I don't want to guide? So the problem is not you being guided or not. The problem is the devil Allah. So when you start your video saying thanks to Allah, the one who guided us, what about those who Allah misguided them? Should they say thanks to Allah, the one who misguided us too? Your God Allah is a double agent. He's playing games. And he's saying to Muhammad, oh, I am the, I am the one who deceived them. You cannot guide them. You don't try even. Don't go there. I just misguide them. That's it. This is how we find those who claim to have knowledge in Islam, they are silly. And we find Islam is silly in general. So when we listen to those people who they have no knowledge of their cult, they have big mouth, too much things to say, but it's just empty words. The start was a kufr. You are a kafir. You just insulted yourself, insulted Islam, insulted your prophet, insulted Muhammad, saying thanks to Allah who guide us because he is the one who misguide billions of people. He only guide one billion. There is six billion left. Allah must guide them according to the Quran. Tell us more. Shall we? Stop. The most honorable prophet. You pray on a man, his name is Muhammad. Who is a praying on Muhammad? We go to the Quran, we say, Allahu wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Now we know they will say, Allah send in a blessing, this is not salah, prayer. The word in Arabic is so clear, salah is a prayer. Same time, Allah and the angels are sending a blessing on Muhammad. <laughs> is he blessed or not yet? <laughs> and now the Muslims are asking Allah for a blessing? What is that? <laughs> yeah, Abdul, there's no more blessing in the shelves. I uh, know we send no send more blessing. But what that will do? Do you think Allah like will give you more blessing now? Like he put more blessing in the account of Muhammad? <laughs> what a stupid cult they worship a man. His name is the praised one which means he claimed to be God. Continue, Abdul. I don't know if I'm going to stop him every two seconds. That would make the video for 10 hours. So I will try to keep it short. We will speak, speak about the important. Go ahead. My dear Prophet Islam, I greet you all with the universal grace of Islam, and that is, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala. Hold on, hold on. First of all, this is not the greeting of Islam, and you are a scammer like your prophet. This is the greeting of Christianity. 
And this is my question to you if you are a man. Even if you are a woman, I don't care. These days you never know the gender of people. Listen, if this is the greeting of Islam, so why the angel Jibreel, he never say Assalamu Alaikum to Muhammad when he came to him first time? When the first time Assalamu Alaikum as a word appear, you will see that in the, in the Bible, you will see that the angels, when they came to Mary, they said to her, Shalom and to you, Mary. This is the greeting of Christianity. This is another greeting of Islam. When the guy who Muhammad claimed he is Jibreel, actually it's not him who claimed, it was a guy who is the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of Khadija, who said to him, oh, this is Jibreel, brother. He did not say to him, Assalamu Alaikum. He squeezed him. He was violent with him. So when you claim this is the greeting of Islam, prove it. You steal what our greed is, and you claim it for yourself. Islam is a theft. Otherwise, prove it. You know? If we go right now, we search the, the Quran, what we will find? Even in the Quran, this word appear have connection with Jesus. You Muslims are stealing Christianity. You will see who is exist first, Muhammad or Jesus? Muslim will say for sure, Jesus, come on, you know. All right. Who is exist first, Abraham or Muhammad? They will say for sure, Abraham, you know. Okay. Uh, who is exist first, Noah or Abraham? They will say, you know, Noah. But you will see all those salam have, have is copied from people before them. But you will see that when it comes to Jesus, it says in chapter 19, verse number 15. Huh? Sorry, chapter 19, verse number 33. It says, Peace be upon me on the day I was born, in the day I died, and the day I shall rise again. But when we speak about Muhammad, there is no way. Where is the word peace? Show us. The angel, he came to Muhammad. He never find Muhammad, you know, he was terrified. The, the angel, he was squeezing him. He did not say even his name. He didn't say anything. He did not say, hello, how are you doing? Hey, Abdul, I am angel Jibreel. No, he said to him, read. Suddenly a guy appear in front of you, he says to you, read. Oh, how rude. How rude, how stupid. At least say something, who are you? Say hello, say assalamu alaikum. So the Muslims, when they say the greeting of Islam is peace unto you, that is a lie. First of all, Muhammad is a, is a person of war. And Muhammad, he forbid the Muslim to say peace to the Christians, for he is an evil man. While we see that the word peace appear with Jesus everywhere, he blessed those who spread peace. Let us continue with the video. I don't know. I think I'm going to stop this guy every two seconds. That's not good. That will make the video endless. Oh boy. Continue, Abdul. We are listening. I mean, the, the video is not even 33 seconds. I stopped the video three times. Please don't use those words. King. Don't use the word uh, piss. Don't use, come on, you know, just, you know, unless you are trying to fight to make uh, YouTube take our video down. So I will accuse you if you use bad language that you are trying to help the Muslims to take our videos down. Don't make me disable the chat. Uh, today, inshallah, I'm with you from Yonkis live in New York City. And the program at hand today is going to be on, uh, it's going to be a rebuttal actually to um, a priest. Is he an Indian guy who's been on Facebook and he was talking about he used to be a Muslim and he was in uh, Islamic school for 10 years or, or more than that. And he was learning about Islam. He studied fiqh, he studied uh, Sharia, he studied the Quran and the Hadith and he knows a lot about Islam and everything. And he was born into that Islamic community. And so um, eventually uh, as he was, um, you know the guy I'm talking about, right? Um, it's, it's an Indian guy, you know? Um, come on, we know him. He eat curry. Uh, come on, you do not need to explain. I mean, he's an Indian. He eat curry and he like rice. I mean, what is this introduction is about? You don't know his name. I mean, how stupid is that? Uh, come on. You know, I, I don't know your name because somebody just sent me your, I mean, your video. I said this guy is a kid. He's not even, you know. But he insists, please, you know, refute, refute him. I said, okay, let us put his video there. I have no idea what you. Go ahead. Yeah, he's an Indian guy. Mm -hmm. And he was interviewed by some woman. 
And it's some women. Is that a new kind of human? Uh, some women. And there is some men too. I saw some birds. Okay. A lot of people asking me to report that guy and to report whatever he was saying. Report? Who? To the Islamic police? Repo report? Oh boy. Are you going to report me too? Please don't. Well, I did the rebuttal. Uh, rebuttal? Okay. A few years ago, but I did that like five, ten minutes rebuttal, eight minutes rebuttal here and there. But uh, I've been doing that and. Here and there. You did rebuttal here and there. Mm -hmm. I do that too. People still need some more, and so today I'm going to be rebuttaling a lot of things that he said, and I'm going to give uh, uh, answers to almost everything that he brought. But I hope time and space will allow us to do justice to... You have a lot of time and space, don't worry. Thank God. Look how big your chair. No excuse. Go ahead. The topic, and uh, inshallah, uh, we're going deep into the topic right now. As I'm... Deep? How deep? Let us see. I'm speaking. Okay, um, uh, like I said, he, um, he claimed that um, uh, he was uh, a, an imam and he was given a special masjid, a place of worship for the Muslims to take care of. And so as he was the imam of that masjid, uh, one day, you know, somebody asked him, uh, uh, who was Jesus? And um, he said, Jesus is a messenger of God. Jesus is one of the mighty messengers of God. He is a prophet. Uh, he was sent to Bani Israel. Um, and then the person asked him again, so who was God or who is God? And uh, uh, somehow the person uh, alluded to the fact that maybe that Jesus uh, did a lot of creation himself and he did so many wonderful things. He walked on water, he did miracle. And so far, none of the messengers that came to earth have done that. And so based on that injunction, uh, he was God. And so uh, uh, that Indian priest, he said, at that time, I decided I'm going to study the Quran even further. He's very uh, cynical. I mean, how could this man who claimed to be uh, an Islamic scholar, who studied fiqh, Nahaw, Mantik, Balaga, Arab, Hadith, and he speak Arab very well, according to him, all of a sudden, He's been reading the Quran all of his life because you've got to be an Iman, giving a whole masjid. You should know exactly who Jesus is and how the Muslim look up to who Jesus actually is in the Islamic uh, community. So he said he went and um, and he... Okay, let me get your idea. So you are saying because he was an Imam and he had a mosque, and then how he's going to read the Quran again? Ah, that makes sense. I have the same question for you. Your prophet is an Imam. He is a sheikh. He's a scholar. He's a prophet. Yet he tried to commit suicide. He don't believe that he is a prophet. How that work for you? So you are asking how this guy is a questioning Islam again, and your prophet himself is a questioning Islam. The prophet who brought Islam to you, the Quran says, he was fi shakin. He have a doubt about his belief. فَإِنْ كُنْتَ فِي شَكٍ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ فَاسْأَلَ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَأُونَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ If you have a doubt about what we sent to you, Muhammad, go on as the Christians and the Jews. So you are saying this guy is not genuine because he have a doubt in this moment, but yet he claimed that he is a scholar. But you're a prophet, he have a doubt. And your God, Allah, he spanked him, said to him, Hey, Abdul, go back to the Christian, this guy, he's in YouTube, his name is the Christian Prince, he's crazy, you know? He say like crazy stuff, like, you know, he speaks English very good, and you know, all those garbage. Huh? So go to him and ask him. I mean, do you see how silly those people, the argument? Very slow, very low in their IQ. Just change your diet, my friend, come on. I mean, come on. Your prophet, he have adopted. Your prophet, he asked Khadija, he said, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? He have a doubt, he is sick, he's something wrong with him. So what's wrong with you? Continue, Abdul. I like you, by the way, you know? I'm going to add you to my collection. Actually, you got, you're already in my collection because those who get the, the, the lucky and become in my videos, that's mean they earn the PhD in stupidity. Because usually I don't make videos unless you are really stupid, to be honest with you. He uh, stated the Quran again. 
I don't understand that part. To know who Jesus was? He stated the Quran again. And in doing that particular study of the Quran, who Jesus is, he realized that uh, the Quran mentioned Jesus 25 times. And Muhammad is actually mentioned uh, four times. And the word Ahmed, referring to Muhammad, is mentioned one time. So it means Muhammad is mentioned five times as opposed to, um, you know, uh, Jesus Christ was mentioned 25 times. From that angle, he deduced that uh, Jesus Christ is greater than Muhammad for the simple fact that he's mentioned 25 times in the Quran. Muhammad is mentioned five times. But uh, what he refused uh, to or he didn't understand. See, I don't believe from the beginning that he was an imam. Absolutely not. I don't you know, I think he was not. Uh, you know, I think. I think the guy, I don't know you are talking about who, but whoever he is, I think he was not an imam, you know. Do you know what an imam mean? I mean, this is not, not good, man. I mean, this is really bad. Do you remember the hadith when a man, he was a homosexual, and they went to the caliphate, and the Muslims accused him that he is bowing down to show his bum, and he is tempting them? I don't think this guy is like him. He is a different kind of imam. Your imam is different like this guy, obviously. And then... I was reading the hadith, I mean, how in the world those people are tempted unless they are gay themselves. I mean, how somebody, he bow down in front of you, he's tempting you, and you are complaining. Unless you are, you know, you like it. Hello? Anyway, just continue, man. So he is not an imam. Okay, no, we, we got it, we got it. He lost the credit from you. That's it, you fired him. He's not an imam. Come on. No. He was a falafel guy. Okay, are you an imam? Let us see how good you are. I don't even believe that he was given a masjid to take care of, to be the imam of the masjid. I don't believe that. I don't also believe that uh, uh, when he was asked who was Jesus, then he have to go back to the Quran again. An imam who speak Arabic very well? No. I just showed you your prophet Allah. He told him go to the Christians. <laughs> go to the Christian and ask them. A prophet, a prophet who God sent him his angel. Allah saying to him, go to the Christians and ask them. Hmm? What happened? Suddenly the Christian, they knew more than your prophet. I thought they are kuffar. Isn't it the Christians who are going to go to hell? Isn't it the Christian who worship the Trinity? Isn't it the Christian who worship Jesus as God? And then your stupid God, he said to, the, uh, the, to, the, to his prophet, go and ask the Christians. Hello? I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around. And all what I can see, a bunch of idiots around me. He don't believe, man. He is not. That's it. We got him busted. He is not an imam. The whole story, he left Islam. And you are so upset. By the way, the word upset is coming from the horse of the, of, uh, of the cowboy. I think you fit there. Go ahead know about the seerah of all the prophets he should give an answer to it but he said at that time he went back again and researched the quran and reread the quran from hmm. cover to cover he said and then he realized that hold on you know the cover the cover thing is very scary once i went to do an exam you know the teacher he told me i want you to read this book from cover to cover i did what the, the teacher he said in the exam day he asked me about the book i said i don't know those answers i i, I just did what you say he said, I told you to read from cover to cover. I said, yeah, I read the title. In the back, it says the publisher. This is what I did read. Cover to cover. Hello. We are Arab. We have our own way of understanding. So please make it clear. What do you mean cover to cover? You must know the Quran cover to cover. I mean, not even one of you. He knows one verse in the Quran, what it does mean. This is why we find a million interpretations for the same verse. And all of them, they end with Allah knows best. Cover to cover. May Allah cover you. Go ahead. Jesus Christ mentioned 25 times. So from that angle, he said, okay, well, then uh, Muhammad five times, Jesus Christ 25 times. He, you know, so Muhammad might be, uh, Jesus might be greater than Muhammad, according to him. Because he was, so, well, if that is the argument he's trying to make for the fact that Muhammad is mentioned five times, Jesus Christ mentioned 25 times, Jesus definitely is greater than Muhammad. That's what he said. Forgetting that. Moses is mentioned over 118 times in the Quran. So in this case, is Moses greater than all the prophets because he's mentioned more than almost all of the prophets? Is he greater than them all? See, we don't think like that. Okay, and then again, um, uh, Satan is mentioned more than Jesus Christ. He's mentioned many times, about 95 times.
in the Quran. Does it mean Satan is greater than Jesus Christ for the simple fact that he's mentioned more than Jesus Christ who was mentioned 25 times? Give me the hammer. Where is the hammer? And give me the nail. <laughs> Fix it there. You just killed yourself, my friend. You see how stupid you are. It's not about how many times Jesus was mentioned only. It's about all of them about good Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Muhammad mentioned in the Quran five times talking about what? About his private part. Women who want to sleep with him. Muhammad want to get the biggest TV. Muhammad, he want to sleep with all the women. Muhammad, don't enter the house of Muhammad and eat his sandwiches. So when we talk about how many times, we are talking about how what kind of mentioning. If we go to your yellow pages of Muhammad, hmm, you will find this. Uh, where? Hold on. Chapter 30, 33, verse number 50. Oh, Prophet. This, this is Allah mentioning Muhammad. You know, this is Muhammad mentioned in the Quran. What Allah mentioned in Muhammad? It's about his private part. Prophet, we made lawful for you the following name. Susu and Mimi and Fufu and Dudu and Lulu and Kuku and Tutu and Mumu. All of them, you can sleep with them. And don't forget to rape the prisoner of war. In the top of that, the daughters of your cousins and the cousin of the cousins. And you can sleep with the daughter of the cousin of your cousin of the cousin and the cousin of the cousin of the neighbors and the cousins and the daughters of your uncle and your auntie. All of them, they can take your panty. And then don't forget that any Muslim woman, she can give herself to the Prophet, give him her gift with no sex or panty. I mean, this is, here we go. The Quran mentioned Muhammad is about sex. Or about big screen TV. Give Muhammad the biggest booty. The fifth of the attack to the Prophet on Allah. Muhammad, he want to be sure that he will get, now the Muslim will enter the house first, they will steal the money. And then Muhammad, he want to be sure he got his shares. Look, here we go. Muhammad is mentioned in the Quran. Give the best of the booty to Allah and his prophet. The fifth to Allah and his messenger. The fifth. So if the Muslim, they steal one million dollar and there is 10,000 Muslims in the attack. Every Muslim will not even get a dollar. Well, Muhammad, he will get what? What is the fifth of one, one million? Guys, what is the fifth of one million? $200,000? While the Muslim, he will get not even a dollar, 80 cents. <laughs> okay, and then the Quran mentioned Muhammad, oh, bro, oh brother, don't enter the house of the Prophet without his permission. And if you want to talk to his wife, speak to her from behind the curtain. If you want to eat, don't forget, you know, like, oh, don't, we don't have sandwiches. Don't, we don't have sandwiches. No, brother, we don't have sandwiches. Chapter 33, verse number 53. Oh, you believe, enter not the prophet houses, and to leave you, leave is given to you. For a meal, we are out of sandwiches. I mean, this is the Quran mentioning Muhammad. I mean, look how serious the topic, to the point Allah need to be involved. Hey, brother, come on, come on, don't enter the house of the prophet. And if you want to speak to his wife, please speak to her from behind the curtain, because Muhammad is very jealous. He don't trust you. You are going to look at his wife, don't you? So when we speak about the Quran, the Quran is speaking about Jesus, we find the Quran is speaking about Jesus doing miracles, Jesus healing the blind, Jesus making people see, Jesus can tell you what you hide in your houses, Jesus created from the mother bird, Jesus can Jesus is alive right now in heaven. So we cannot it's not only about how many times, it's about the quality of the times. So why the Quran is involved in mentioning Muhammad? It's always about Muhammad, he wants sex. Muhammad, he wants more money. Muhammad, it's always about his pocket and his private part. Okay. Do you see how we spank them? This is the difference, my friend. And a man who makes verses like this, he cannot be a man of God. Don't enter my house with permission if you want sandwiches. And if you want to speak to my wife, please ask from behind the curtain. Because my wife, she is using Victoria's Secret clothing. What the heck is that? Or what about Muhammad? He's saying, if you want to ask me a question, you have to pay for it. Oh, who you believe? 
Won't you consult the messenger in the private? Send something in a charity. We have Patreon. We accept cash. Camel urine. I mean, what is that? Here we go, the Quran mentioning Muhammad. If you want to speak to Muhammad in private, you have to pay first. Why? He's a clinic? How many of you now are watching me for free? I don't feel really. This is fair. This is not fair. My name is Muhammad, and you have to give me something before you talk to me in private. Businessman. So when we talk about the Quran mentioning Muhammad, we talk about the Quran fabricated by Muhammad. Muhammad trying to generate either money or sex. So those who say to me, debate this guy, I mean, is this guy qualified even to stand in front of me for two seconds? He will never. Do you think this guy will ever dare to say, I will, I will tell you what he would do. I want to debate you face to face. This is what they do to avoid debating me, you know, face to face. Not Skype to Skype, no. Face to face, shoulder to shoulder. I challenge you, what's your name? Tell me what's your name. I want to know your name. Mm, okay. My name is a Christian. This is not your name. Oh, okay. What does this have to do with the topic? I want to know your name. And where you live and uh, uh, how high, how tall are you? Hmm. Continue, Abdul. We did not even start. I mean, this is the first five minutes you've been spanked. I know, like, I, I feel sorry for you. We don't think like that, Mr. Mr. I don't know. Sure you don't think like that. You are a person who believes that camel urine is healthy. You are a person who believes Muhammad lies saying that you have an endless penis. You are a person who believes there's women waiting for you and they have no panty just made for, for boom boom. You are a person who believes that Allah Prophet, he was the most weak person in a, in a sexuality and then he invoked Allah and Allah then sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, he got the power of 40. By the way, guys, if you eat shish kebab, you get the power of 39 because this is made by uh, my family business. But the dish of Allah will make you 40. He's like, he's, you know, he's better in cooking. Have you ever heard of a God? He fixed somebody problem by sending him a dish of shish kebab. In the same time, the Quran says that Jesus, he made the blind see. Did he give him shish kebab? He said, hey, hey. did you see the Quran says that Jesus said to the guy who's blind, I want to give you shish kebab. You eat it three times a day and then you will start seeing. So how come Allah, in order to make Muhammad, fix Muhammad's problem between his legs, he had to go to the kitchen and make a shish kebab dish, al kufait and he send it with the angel Jibreel, and then Muhammad, mm, on boing, here we go, it's working. Yet with Jesus, the blind, he don't see, Jesus make him see. The guy is dead, he make him alive. The, the guy, he cannot talk, I mean, he cannot walk, just carry your bed and walk. There's no shish kebab involved. Obviously, that the one who made the miracles, which is Jesus miracles, is not the one who made Muhammad miracles. The one who made Muhammad miracles is a chef. He worked in the kitchen in the Hilton. And he is in love with shish kebab. And for sure he is not Indian, because Indian they like curry. He did not want curry. I love Indian people. <sighs> All right, continue. Guys, should I continue? I feel sorry for this guy. I mean, this guy, he got, uh, I mean, look what, this is only 5 minutes and 39 seconds. I mean, this guy, when he see this video, what would happen to him? I'm afraid he will have other that. You know the guy from Indonesia, what his name? Insan. After he stopped talking to me, he went insane. Two weeks after he died. <laughs> I don't want that to happen to him. Okay, continue his name that priest you know what i'm talking about and so uh, we don't look at that uh, mention of the name and stuff like that and to say uh, uh john Deba yeah 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 and to muslims who make article about muhammad he mentioned 25 you know, sorry jesus mentioned 25 times this is 25 times and that make the quran miracle suddenly the mentioning how many times is not a is not a big deal suddenly when they want it's a big deal when they don't want it's a big deal uh, let us move it a little bit. This is boring. Here, here, here we repeat again, you know. And look at this mouth. I like it when people, they do that, you know. You know, when Muslims, they get excited. Oh, boy. Sound like a kiss. I'm drinking coffee. Who wants some coffee? I said I will make this video short. I mean, how short this video will be? I hate myself. I have work to do.
uh, Christian Prince, Indian like me, who like Arabian Mendy. Oh, you like Arabian Mendy? Uh, you eat Mendy, yeah? Well, let me, I have a bad news for you, my friend. Arabian Mendy is not Arabian. This is Indian Mendy. <laughs> the Arab in Saudi Arabia, they learn how to make Mendy from the Indian. What are you talking about? This is not Arabian food. Anyway, I feel, come on, my friend. Have you ever heard of an Arab have rice? Since when we have rice? This is something new. We learned, you know, this is from the Indian came work in Saudi Arabia. They taught us how, you know, we are Arab. The only thing we knew, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not going to talk about my family now. They will be upset, you know. Uh, hey, my son, where is the lice? I took it from your hair. Okay, keep it because the prophet used to have lice. Thank you. Okay, so let us continue. Two more than a messenger of Allah. Many were the messengers that passed before him. Muhammad is not a father of any of your men, but he's a messenger of Allah. Okay, hold on. So what are those uh, who call themselves Habib? They claim that they are the descendant from a prophet. It's a scam, right? It's a scam. Secondly, the verse in, in the Quran that, your, that Muhammad was not the father of any of your children. It's about what? I mean, what does this have to do with Islam? If you have a children, is that a problem? If you don't have a problem, a children, what is that? Simply because you Muhammad was accused that his private part is not functioning. And as we mentioned, Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab, he ate it. And just to show you how silly Islam is, have you ever heard of a God, he make a verses about the private part of a man? Who a man accuse him that his private part is not working? What is that? I mean, how in the world even, have you ever heard of a God, he sent three verses and it's a chapter? We granted you the fount. What fount? It's a fount of white water, supposedly, liquid. It's a sperm. Therefore, to the Lord, turn in a prayer and sacrifice. Sacrifice for what? I thought you Muslims should not sacrifice. You sacrifice for the sake of his private part? He who accused you that you cut off, the guy was accusing Muhammad that you don't have a, you know, cut off, you don't have one. I mean, this is the, this is the chapter of, what we got from this, what we, what this is about. How we know even what the story is. If we want to now, you wanna, if we want to understand this chapter, what this chapter is about. We have a granted you a found, found, is that the fountain of youth in the, in the part of the Caribbean? Oh, I don't want to forget your prophet, even he believed in that. Hmm? If we go right now to the hadith, and as long as we mention it, we don't want to miss it. You miss it, you don't have it. You don't have it, you miss it. Uh, <clears throat> your prophet, you know the story about a, a prophet, his name is Al-Khadr, who drank from the fountain of youth, and since then he never died. Hello? Is that a true story? Yeah, it's a true story. Let us see. What is the story? Here we go. Eh. And then, brother, when the Prophet Al Khadr, sorry, Musa's, he arrived to the rock and there was a water spring called Al Hayat, which means the, the, the fountain of life. And none, brother, come in touch with the water, but became alive. <laughs> Guys, do you know how old I am? I'm very old. Each time I go die, you know, I have my neighbor, you know, and, uh, you know, I have a, a, like a thousand cousins, you know. So if I die, guys, cousins, neighbors, if I die, just open this water and drop a little drop on me, I will come back to life. True story. You can find it in the fountain of the uh, youth of the Caribbean movie. You know, uh, what his name? Jack uh, Sparrow? Look at the story of Jack Sparrow is taken from here. Anyone touch this water, he came back to life? I was wondering, the hair of a Trump is a treat or not? I think he touched it with water. Okay. Hmm. I heard that when Corona came to Trump, he almost died, and then they drop one of this water on him. They have it, the CIA, man. Hey, what? 007, James Bond. James Bond died because simply the CIA refused to give him the water. 
which Trump he has. Now Trump, he will leave the White House, Biden, Joe Biden, he will get it. And Joe Biden, he will touch himself, he will become 20 years old, you know, like me. So when this guy, he speak about logic, and this is what, what we say, this is what we believe. I mean, look who is talking. People who believe in fountain of life. And literally, we're not metaphorically, none touch this water and but come to the life. And then the, the, the whale touch the water and when the whale escape, eh, this is the best cartoon ever. Alhamdulillah. Okay, tell us more. In the last of the Prophet. So Muhammad is mostly called the Messenger of Allah, the Prophet of Allah, the Slave of Allah. Hold on. The Prophet is called the Prophet of Allah? That's hilarious. And what is his prophecy? Guys, the Prophet was called the Prophet of Allah. Hmm. Okay. And how he earned that name? Can you tell me the prophecy of the Prophet so we can love together? Is that the Prophet who said the moon split and Judgment Day in the corner? And that was 1400 years ago? He claimed that Judgment Day started? Continue. That is his appellation. That is Muhammad. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we believe all the Prophet were. None of them is below or above the name. Shut up, you idiot coward. You are a liar. Keep your hand up. Don't put them down. You are in danger now. We don't believe there's up and down. Are you accusing the Quran to be a lie? Here we go. Let us go to the Quran. I mean, it's un your unlucky day. You stupid idiot. We don't believe that prophet higher than her prophet. Are you sure? Let us see. Oh boy. First of all, the children of Israel are the most favorite people in the world, including their prophet. Chapter 2, verse number 47. Oh, children of Israel. Mm -mm. Don't forget our special favor which we bestowed upon you and we prefer you for all mankind. Not my message as it says in translation. Continue. Oh boy. Chapter 2, verse 122. Oh, children of Israel. I mean, like this the translation is horrible. This Yusuf Ali. I think this guy, he, he ate uh, something wrong. What... Uh, what this guy is talking about. Read. O children of Israel, we favor you above all mankind. Mankind and genie? The Jews are higher than all mankind and genie. Who said that? The Quran. So when you say, we do not favor people upon people, you are stupid. But let us see. Does the Quran say clearly that we favor people upon people who they are? Let me get this rid of this Yusuf Ali. Let us see. <clears throat> Do Allah he favor messengers upon messengers or this guy is telling the truth? Oh boy, chapter 2 verse number 253. Thus messengers we preferred some to others. <laughs> But this guy, he said, we don't prefer, we don't say that some is higher and some is lower. So he accused the Quran to be a book of lies. Do you see it? I kept his hand up because now he is under arrest for the last lie he just made. We don't, we don't believe there is a higher messenger than higher messenger. This is not what I will believe. Uh -huh. In the case of Jesus, after he left the earth, there was a lot of, there's still a lot of confusion about his personality. Was he God? Hold on, hold on. We that is Muhammad. We skip. And so that's what we believe all the prophets were. None of them is below or above the name that Allah has given them. Mess Liar. Liar, you will end in fire, the verse in the front of you. Stupid idiot. Even the Quran says why they are higher than each other. He says here, 
and others high he raised to degrees between two bracket Muslim they put honor and to Isa Jesus the son of Mary we gave a clear proofs evidence he is higher and we supported him with the Ruh al Qudus he is higher and between two bracket they put Jibreel whereas nowhere in the Quran it says Jibreel is the Holy Spirit so don't say stupid things and you claim to be a sheikh you are not even sheikh you are shakuk you are shakarita you are shakira 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 you are shakira man you are not sheikh you are deceiving people saying the quran and islam does not teach this and the quran saying the opposite shakira boy go ahead this is just a prophet sent to guide mankind but in the case of jesus after he left the earth there was a lot of there's still a lot of confusion about his personality was he god was he son of god is he trying god was he god man did he became a man and then he gave up that godhead and then he became <laughs> where you get this he gave this godhead you know he became a man because he covers his mother what is this where you, you jumping like a monkey we Christian, we believe that Jesus is the Word of God who became a man, which means he was the Word, and the Word became a man. Well, you make it give her, you know, give God. What is this? If, if and if God, look what the Muslim they want to do. They want to tell you how God can be. They want to design a God. Well, we call him Almighty because he can. How God can be one yet he is a three person? How can he? Well, he is God, you idiot. If he cannot, this means he cannot be God too. What is impossible for man, it is possible for God, idiot. So when you make it in the way you are saying that you are lying about our belief, we don't believe that he gave the Godhead and he became a new Godhead, and we don't believe he became a new God and he was not God. That's just stupid of you. From the first chapter, first verse of the book of John, in the beginning it was the Word, <coughs> and the Word was is God. Let me drink water. If we go to your stupid Quran, you will see the Quran in total agreement about Jesus. That he is the Word of God. And that word came down from heaven. Chapter 4, verse 171. So Jesus, before he became a man, he was what? He was the word of God. If we ask the Muslims, is the word of God eternal? They would say yes. That is Jesus. And you will see here it says that the word of God, which is Jesus, he been sent down to Mary. He was born of Mary, and in the same time, he is a spirit proceeding from him. From who? From God. So Jesus is the word of God. Jesus is a man, and Jesus is a spirit in the same time. And yet the Muslim, they say, how you can be three and one in the same time? You just, you just, you just admitted that you can be three in the same one, and especially when you speak about Jesus. He is the word. He is the man. He is a spirit proceeding from him. By the way, this is not what we believe as a Christians about Trinity, but this is what the Quran is saying. And the funny, the same verse is saying, don't say Trinity. But in the same verse, it's, conf it's, it's confirming to us, you have to believe now that Jesus is the Word of God, and Jesus is a man, and Jesus, he is bestowed on Mary and the Spirit of God proceeding from him, I in G. You see how stupid this religion man. Tell us more. I, I need to finish this video soon. I feel sorry for this guy. I think this guy, when he sees this video, he will, you know, either his wife, she will leave him, or he will leave his wife. He will blame it in the wife, usually. This is what they do. You know, they go for a fight in the street, he got beaten, he go back home, and he, you are divorced, okay? You are divorced. What do I have to do to you? I did not do anything. It's the guy who beat you there. Oh, you are divorced, okay? You are, look at me, look. A God, when he became a God, then what happened to him being a man? So, okay, if he... Okay, you know what? I want to go with your logic. When the, uh, what, what happened to him when he became a man? Uh -huh. Okay, I want to go with your logic. So, uh, the Holy Spirit who came to Muhammad, 
and he sorry to Mary and he appeared to her as a full man what happened to him he is still the Holy Spirit or no he's a man <laughs> Chapter 19, verse number 17. According to your stupidity, that if a God he a, a came to us in a person of a man, he cannot be God no more. Okay, I will go with you. She placed a screen to screen herself. Yeah, Mary, she had like screens. She likes screens, to be honest with you. She screened herself and she put a screen. That's it. So if you are behind the screen, nobody can see you. Uh, Mary, you are behind the screen. I know you are there. I have a screen, you can't see me. Hello. <laughs> From them. And then we sent her our angel. Look at the first translation. He appeared before her as a perfect man. Uh -huh. So the angel Jibreel, when he came to your prophet as a man and he squeezed him, and the angel Jibreel, and by the way, it doesn't say here angels, it says our Ruhana, our spirit. So when he came to Mary, he is not an angel no more, he's just a man. And when Zibril, he came to your prophet, he is not an angel no more. He is a man. Even your prophet, he says he looked like Dahya Kalbi. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, stupidity is amazing. You just destroy your cult. You just destroyed your cult. When Muhammad he says the Quran will come to you as a as a as a as a dead man, look, he looked like a, like as if he's dead. Does that mean the Quran is not the word of God no more because he is a man now? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Stupidity is amazing. When we speak about God, what is not possible for God to do? So you are saying to me that an angel of your God, he can change his shape or his look from an angel to a man but your God cannot. That's mean the angel is more powerful. And not to forget to mention that your prophet, he said that your God, Allah, he changed his shape too. If we go in the Quran, and the Hadith, sorry, we will find this. <clears throat> when the Muslims ask Muhammad, are we going to see Allah, literally, see Him? He said, yeah. He will come to you in a shape other than the one which you saw first time. What? Yes, you will see Allah in a shape other than the one you saw first time. And we are showing the hadith which is authentic and no question about it. Let us see which hadith we will show you. There's many of them, but we will choose one. Uh, let us see the most authentic one. Ta -da 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 -da. Uh, here we go. Read and laugh. You are the one who said that if Jesus he is God and now he is as a man is he God now or he's a man now okay this is your God Allah and this is your prophet saying and this is Sahih al-Bukhari so don't tell me it's weak you know vitamin it C and D and foo all right my friend forget about the customer we are spanking this guy he can this guy he can call me when we say we can we are taking calls we have a customer already what you know it says here, then the Almighty will come to them in a shape other than the one which they saw first time. Mm -hmm. Allah is not Allah no more. He, he changed his shape. And what happened to the first shape? He put it in the closet. You see, I'm using the logic of this Abdul from Nigeria. What happened now? So Jesus now became a man. What happened to the God? He's now a man. Did he give up his God? Okay, this is God of Islam. He is changing his shape. What happened to the first shape? And the new shape is Allah still God? When the Muslims, they make an argument, the argument is based in one thing that you do not know. 
so we can convince you. But a person who know the cult of Islam very well, he can get them busted so easy. You know what I mean? Somebody saying Allah, he changed his custom. No, not, this is not custom. He changed his shape, all of him. And the funny is, he come to the Muslim and he said to them, I am your Lord. The Muslim, they get him busted. They say, hello, are you stupid or what? You are not our Lord. Read it carefully. So when Allah come to them in a shape other than the one they saw first time, saw first time, you Muslim, you saw Allah first time when? In the movie? And he will say, I am your God. And they will say, <laughs> because now we, are, we lost our teeth, you know, at that time we are old now. <laughs> Allah, you are not our Lord. <laughs> you don't look like Allah. <laughs> they make fun of Allah just because he changed his shape. It's a Halloween time. So this is what the Muslims are doing right now. My friend, Dawah, you are welcome to call me. But now, as you see, we are refuting this shape, my friend. If I go later, or maybe today or tomorrow, you are welcome. You know, you can come to the chat. Give me your Skype. I will be happy to call you. All right. You are welcome. But as you see, we are we are answering this uh, fake shape. So as you see here, people who they are speaking about God changing they themselves they believe in God changing unless he is accusing his prophet to be a liar they themselves believe that the spirit of Allah became a man that's mean the spirit of Allah is not spirit no more according to him they are the one who believe that Jibreel became a man that's mean Jibreel was not Jibreel it was just a normal man so when I say stupidity is amazing I mean it let us continue with this shaky shake who have no logic and have nothing to say. His logic is against Islam. He is destroying Islam actually, and he is helping us to expose this cult. Continue. He is a man, then he's he supposed to be born by a human. Okay, Mary gave birth to Jesus Christ. Okay, now she is the mother of God. Then all of a sudden, who created Mary? So this is a lot of confusion. What all of a sudden? What all of a sudden? The confusion is your confusion too, you idiot, if this is a confusion. Because I want to ask you now, how Mary she have no husband yet she have a son this is confusion I mean do you see how stupid your logic either you believe that this is a miracle and this is a miraculous thing and we call it a miracle or you call it confusion which means it's a lie so are you saying the Quran lie about Mary that she is giving birth to Jesus without father and why Allah is making this confusion if you call it confusion why he don't make Jesus born like everybody like everyone and now he will say something very important, I think. I know what he will say next. Some say he's dead. Some say he didn't die. Some say... No, some. There's no some. If the some is only you. You stupid idiot. We Christian, we say he died and he, 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 he is up to heaven. And that's it. Who is some and some say and some say? What's wrong with you? The Quran say clearly, the Christian, they say that the Jews said we crucified him. The Quran confirmed that. Are you accusing the Quran to be a liar? The Quran said the Christians have one of you that Christ was crucified. And as long as you are talking about confusion, some they say he's dead, something. Who is the son? It's you, Muslims. What about we see who is the one who caused this confusion? Isn't it your God, Allah, according to the Quran? He made him appear in the cross, you idiot. Your God is the God of the confusion. According to your Allah, Allah, he said that the Jews, they say, we crucified him. Allah said, we crucified him not. They crucified him not. Huh? But it was made to appear for them. So if you are complaining about confusion, how in the world the God of confusion, Allah, he do such a thing? Because now he is the one who confused us, according to you. I'm going with you now. Who is the one who made Jesus appear in the cross? Allah. What he did? We put the likeness of Isa on a man. So look how stupid this cult is. The Muslim they blame us for believing that Jesus was a crucified and the Quran saying yes the guy who was on the cross looked exactly like Jesus.
<laughs> so the Quran and Islam going after you. Why you believe in Allah lie? Allah did lie to you, brother. Yes, Allah, he put someone look like Jesus. And you stupid, you believe in the lie of Allah. And now Allah is going to punish you for believing in Allah. Oh, Allah. This is what the Quran is saying. So Allah, he made a lie. He put someone look like Jesus in the cross. And the Christian, they witness that this is Jesus. This is what they saw. Perfect Jesus. Allah, he cloned someone look exactly like Jesus. And you step at you, you want to blame the Christian for believing in the lies of Allah, and you are complaining about confusion? <laughs> Unbelievable. You are so cute. And I did added you today to my collection. Guys, shall we continue or enough? Or what do you think? What do you think? This guy, he might have heart attack if you see this video now. I mean, do you see how stupid this cult is? They are accusing you to be deceived when the one who deceived us is Allah. If Allah did not put someone look like Jesus in the cross, nobody will say Jesus was crucified. That's it. The game is over. So Allah, he played games. He replaced someone, make him look like, what is the purpose of this game? This is a deception. Don't Allah knew that by doing that, there's billions of Christians will be believing in the crucifixion of Jesus. Do he know the future or he don't? So if Allah want to save Jesus, do he need to do this game? He can just take Jesus, man. Just take him. This is very stupid. Cult. And what make it more stupid, they want you to believe that Allah is a stupid God who deceived you, and that make you stupid for believing in the stupidity of Allah. You see, when 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 we bring somebody to the, to the court, and he bear witness, he witness for what? He witness for what he saw. The Quran confirmed clearly that the Christians and the Jews, they saw Jesus in the cross. So they are telling the truth. Because a witness, he tell what he saw. So what the Quran confirming, that the Bibles for the Bible, the four Bibles confirm that this is what they saw for real, Jesus in the cross. This was the true story. And then after 600 years, we have a fool from Saudi Arabia who do not know how to read, how to write according to Muslims. He have a lot of lies in his head, you know, he received the chapter of Al-Fatiha when he was doing poo-poo. He'd been squeezed by angel three times, and yet he did not know the angel is an angel. And no mayonnaise is coming out. Who believed that the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Who believed that hail is coming from mountains in heaven. Who believed that uh, the sun set in murky water. Who believed that Allah, he placed mountains in the top of the earth like Avatar. Who believe that there is a genie, he will go inside your anus and play with it and block it if you don't say a prayer. Who believe that shaitan, he around himself around your penis if you don't say a prayer and he will make have kids from you, your wife, with you. Who believe that shaitan, he have a penis in the right leg and a vagina in the left leg. And if you want to do sex with himself, he do move it and shake it. If you see a, a, a guy in some place, he's shaking his legs, he don't need to go to the bathroom. This guy is horny. According to the Quran, Allah Akbar, according to Muhammad. True story. I mean, so you believe in this garbage and now you are telling us about logic and confusion. Let us go for a few minutes more so we can keep this video sh as short as we can. It's already more than an hour, isn't it? Oh boy, I feel sorry for this guy. I think, I don't know how many bones already broken. We did not even play seven minutes, eight minutes of his video. He, he just passed out and he un unconsciously he came back again some said he was on the cross but he didn't die some said he was on the cross and died and then so there is a lot of confusion about Jesus Christ only when it's come to Islam there's a confusion and we prove it from the Quran and Allah is the fake God who resembles someone look like Jesus according to your Quran continue done 
about Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There is no confusion at all. Mm -hmm. There is no confusion about Muhammad himself. Muhammad is the first one who is confused. When Muhammad he tried to commit suicide, is that a sign of confusion or not? And by the way, are you confused about Allah have a shin, Allah have a hand, Allah have fingers, Allah have a Allah changing his shape? Is that confusion or not? How you Muslim you say to us how you worship a man and then we find that Allah have a shape, Allah have five fingers, Allah have shin. <laughs> when it's come to Prophet Muhammad, there's no confusion. Let us see. The guy he himself is the most confused person ever to the point he tried to commit suicide. If I was there at that time, you know, that the story says that Jibreel appeared to him and told him, Muhammad, don't come, don't do it, Muhammad. If I was there, I would say, Muhammad, just do it, man. Come on, just do it. Just jump, Muhammad, save the world from your stupidity. Look what it says here. When Waraka ibn Nawfal, he died, and this is telling us that Waraka ibn Nawfal, he was writing Quran, and this is what the hadith is saying, that Waraka ibn Nawfal, he is the one who told Muhammad, oh, the one he squeezed you in the cave, you know, his name is uh, Jibreel, huh? you know, his name is Jibreel, brother. And he is the one, it says in the hadith, that Waraka, he was uh, translating the Arabic Bible, that is the Quran. The summary, summary of his belief. Waraka ibn Nawfal. Then when Waraka he died, you will see, it says here, read carefully. Waraka was the son of paternal uncle, i.e. her father, brother, who was during the pre-Islamic period become a Nasara, a Christian. Nasara is a Christian cult. And used to write the Arabic writing and used to write of the gospel in Arabic. What is that book? That is the Quran. And then you will find right away that later Muhammad, he was so sad because Waraka, he died. Read carefully. Few days after Waraka died and the divine inspiration stopped. Mm -hmm. What the connection between divine inspiration and Waraka death? I will tell you why. Because the modem of the internet was in the house of Waraka. The second Waraka he died, the internet company, they stopped his account and Muhammad lost connection with Allah. So the divine inspiration was also post. And then Allah, the Prophet of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, becomes so sad. And we heard that he intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains. Like what? There's no confusion. Muhammad himself is the most confused man. And look what happened. Why he's trying? Why Muhammad he tried to commit suicide? Is that because somebody broke his uh, uh, smartwatch? Somebody ate his shish kebab? No, he don't believe he's a prophet. Read carefully. And every time he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself down, Jibreel would appear to him before him and say, Khabibi Muhammad. You know, Jibreel is a Jew, you know. Khabibi Muhammad. You are indeed messenger of Allah. In truth, whereupon his heart become quiet and he would calm down. So what is the problem? Muhammad confused. Is he a prophet? He's not a prophet. I'm gonna kill myself. To make the story more, like, I mean, to explain to you the story. Sorry guys, I have to use my skills. You know, I'm very good in many things, except English and cooking and fixing things and driving and writing and talking and, you know, but the, the rest is, is fine. So Prophet Muhammad Baradar, Waraka ibn Nufal, he died. Prophet Muhammad, he went from his house and he started climbing the mountain. The Himalaya. Okay, the Himalaya. And now let us uh, 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 show you Prophet Muhammad. We will choose a color which will make him clear in the screen. And now this Prophet Muhammad coming from his house, he's like going up. <sighs> it's hard. I want to go in the top of the mountain to kill myself. Muhammad is climbing the rocks. 
over here there's very sharp rocks Muhammad he have no equipment mashallah alhamdulillah the Prophet he's doing it he's like, yes Prophet hold there put your foot there Prophet let me let me let me hold your bum okay I will push you up okay Prophet don't stop in my shoulder okay Prophet okay you are there now and the Prophet is going and the Prophet is going up and going up it's getting tired finally he is on the top of the mountain and now he want to jump and then Jibreel appear and he said to him let us uh, draw Jibreel hold on we will make Jibreel in blue oh mommy oh mommy mommy blue oh mommy blue oh mommy here we go this is Jibreel Jibreel appear in front of him Jibreel is big by the way like he's so big really you know he look like a mushroom so Jibreel he talked to him this is his tongue Muhammad Muhammad don't jump Muhammad I am from the police department let us talk Muhammad he said to him leave me alone I'm not a prophet I want to jump Habibi Muhammad don't do it Muhammad I know your problem I don't believe you I want to jump I want to jump okay Habibi Muhammad first of all Habibi you are a prophet of Allah in truth I'm telling you I promise you you are a truly prophet of Allah Muhammad answered back he says really I am Jibreel he said yes you are come on Muhammad let's go down and this is a story I mean the funny thing is that this idiot Jibreel he wait entered the poor Muhammad he go to the top of the mountain I mean can't you appear to him when he went in the front here from the first step I mean you wait until the guy he is in the top of the mountain and now you are going to tell him don't do it don't Allah knew what Muhammad is going to do why he don't send him Jibreel from the beginning why do you wait until the guy he go to the top and look the hadith says he keep doing that several times several times Muhammad he go home he start thinking about it man this angel he did for me <laughs> I'm not a prophet I'm going to go and kill myself second day he go and he do it again and then the angel wait for him enter he go all the way up and then suddenly he appear for Habibi Muhammad don't do it Muhammad you are a prophet Muhammad and by the way why Muhammad want to go to the top of the mountain to kill himself can't he just jump from the top of the chair I mean he could not come with an idea better and the funny Muhammad is himself is the one who said that the one who killed himself suicide he will go to hell yet but he practiced and he tried to go to hell <sighs> we have a Muslim he's saying Christian Prince is a coward my friend I don't know I'm scared of you you are scared of you you have to say it you know actually you know what because you show up I'm going to go and jump from the top of the mountain are you with me brother the one who said the Christian Prince is scared the problem is I don't have hiking shoes I mean I mean going to slide before I arrived at the top of the mountain to do what Muhammad did actually I have to be honest with you I have hiking shoes I have very good ones you know you wear them I get them from Alibaba story, you know. Oh boy. Scared. Chief Priest, you have a Twitter. He's talking to who? Twitter boy. So, as you see here, stupidity is amazing. You know, uh, Dawa, Dawa, do you have, uh, give me your Skype. I will give you an exception. Give me your Skype. I will open Skype and give you a call. I will give you 15 minutes. Is that fair, guys? <clears throat> Dawa, give me your Skype. Are you there, Dawa?
<clears throat> Hello? What happened to Dawa? Hello? 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 Yes. Are you Mr. Dawa? Yes. Hello? Yes. You are Mr. Dawa? Okay, what do, how I can help you? Go ahead. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. <clears throat> Go ahead. Hello? Hello? Christian Prince. Christian Prince is talking to you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Don't waste my time. Coward. Coward. All of this. You okay. Change your name into Christian the Coward. All of this. Uh, because you're a very dishonest person. You know that, right? Uh, so, okay. Are you, so, are you, go, are you calling me to call me names or to prove what you are saying? No, no. You're very dishonest. You okay. Okay. Happy. Can you prove it? Can, so can, you, pro can, can you prove it? Can you prove Somebody, it? You know that, right? Are you asking me to hang up on you? You call me to debate no. me. Start the debate. Go ahead. You're the Christian coward polytheist. No problem. No problem. Now, are you going to prove me wrong? Yes. Or you are just a name calling person? Liar. Yeah. You are using voice changer. You are using voice changer, son of Muta. You don't even dare to use your, your, your voice. Coward. See who's the coward? I did not go to Skype for a long time. I said, okay, let's take this Abdul for fun. And then when we answer, we got a guy who is using voice changer because he's so covered, his voice will be recorded and people will be laughing at him for what he would say. Voice changer Dawa. This is maybe Mimi or, you know, Fufu. You never know. Are you going to prove me wrong? You are a coward. You're a liar. Yeah, I'm showing you the difference in the front of you. Your prophet tried to commit suicide. And you just did. And actually, the reason you, you use voice changer because calling me is a, is a career suicide. When a Muslim, he call me, it's a career suicide for him. This is why all those Abdul who don't, don't dare to call me, here we go, I'm here. I don't know who's going to call me. This guy, he called himself that. Why? I said, okay, let's see who's the... But the second we receive a call from them, you will see they are coward. They don't dare even to talk. Okay, what is the problem? You are a coward. Are you going to prevent? You are a coward. Are you going to debate? You are a coward. You, change, you, change, you, change, you should change your name. Call yourself a coward. And look at this guy on the screen. His mouth is open. And he is going to have a heart attack. You are a coward. My friend, the coward is the one who ran away from the problem. He tried to commit suicide. You see, the Muslim, they lie, they say, Jesus committed suicide. This is not true. Jesus, he did not call the Jews, say, hey, come and kill me. Muhammad himself is climbing the mountains, trying to jump into Jibreel. He hold him from his panty, and he hold him from the panty. It's very, this panty is very, you know, I mean, at that time, Victoria's Secret was different. You know, it was very thick, strong. So, if Jibreel did not hold the panty of Muhammad, your prophet will be dead. And he will go to hell because the hadith says the one who, who tried to commit suicide, not suicide doing jihad, suicide to kill himself, he will go to hell. And look what you did now. Uh, those Christians, they were asleep. Just because you call me, look how much excited they are. What happened to you guys? Take it easy. I mean, come on, this guy is Abdul. Have mercy. Do you know what Abdul mean? I'm using fake hadith. Yeah. Sahih al-Bukhari is fake hadith. It's Sahih al-Bukhari is a fake hadith. 
This is a new guy. Sahih al-Bukhari is fake hadith. Tasina wa hadid wa hawadi. It sounds like a maybe Nigerian name. Look, look what he's saying. Christian Brands is using fake hadith. Christian Brands, Brands, not Brands, Brands, he is using fake hadith. Allahu Akbar. But this is Sahih al Bukhari. Who is using fake? Who is the fake here? You Muslims, everything in your religion is fake then. This is Sahih al Bukhari, Abdul. Come on, change your change your medical diet from camel urine to private urine. Hmm? So this is the guy who wanted to challenge me. I wanted to call you how I can call you. And you call me using voice changer and you are just calling me names. I feel sorry for you. So guys, did we have a good time? We can continue with this guy later, I mean, but I don't think he's worth it. What do you think? Is he worth it really to continue with him? I don't think so. I mean, this guy is an idiot. But this is my challenge to this Abdul with big mouth. Hmm? If you're already a man, you give me a call. I'm not going to even to, you know, you tell me what do you want to say. Surprise me. I don't want to ask you what you want to talk about. No, 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 don't tell me. Surprise me. Do you think this guy or this kid, he dare? Or he will not do it because we will make him square? Actually, I will make him round. Who dare? You see, I'm not taking calls really because um, it's boring, you know. I mean, oh, look at them. They don't know what they are talking about. They are silly. I'm sick of this stupid cult. But in the same time, I find, like, okay, somebody have to clean the garbage. And I don't find until now somebody can do the same clean as I do. That is the truth. All right? <clears throat> uh, it's proceeded by the way he played it twice yeah it might be a recording of a video they are kids you know they are kids I feel sorry for them they are kids this is why I'm saying if you want to if you want me to debate somebody send me a shake somebody he claim at least we can speak as a man to man oh, those are kids you know But do you think those guys they will dare anyone he have little intelligence he's a muslim he have a business as a muslim like those guys they will not call me because the second they call me they are they are potato there actually this guy already with potato anyone who watches video will see is stupid everything he said is stupid uh not all bukhari is bad guys not all bukhari is bad okay uh, guys, uh, read with me carefully. Not all Bukhari is bad. What about the Quran? <coughs> Not all the Quran is valid. Is the Quran is valid? Suddenly the Quran, suddenly the Hadith of Al-Bukhari is not valid. But the Quran says, chapter 10, verse 94, if you have a doubt about what we send to thee, go and ask the Christians. So your Quran witness that Muhammad, he have a doubt about his belief. Oh, the Quran is not valid too. The Quran is not valid. Okay. Not, like, nothing is valid in Islam. Do you see it? This is your Quran. Allah asking Muhammad to go and ask the Christian and the Jews. If you want, we can read the interpretation for you. The tafsir is not valid. Ibn Kathir is not valid. Al Qurtubi, not valid. Al Tabari, not valid. Ibn Abbas, not valid. You know what? Why you didn't change Islam religion name from Islam to not valid? Because anything we saw to you from your books is not valid. 
You know, as an example, when the Quran says that the man have a sperm coming from his backbone and the woman, she have a sperm coming from her ribs, which is true, by the way. I mean, women, they have a breast, don't they? Muhammad, he got it right. Those are breast testicles. Those are not really breast. Ah, hello. Yeah, this is new, new science, new window of science. Hmm? So when the Quran says, women, they have sperm coming from their ribs not valid ibn kathir he explained it not valid not valid look nothing is valid what is valid in islam nothing chapter 86 verse number seven let's go to ibn kathir not valid ibn kathir not valid Actually, Ibn Kathir is not even a Muslim. He was a Hindu. If you don't believe me, go and see how he explained the chapter of the cow. He speak about that chapter of he's talking about God, my friend. Not valid. This is Ibn Kathir. Not valid. Oh, let the man look how the man is created from a weak water. Okay. And he said here. He's created from water gushing forth, meaning the sexual fluid that comes out breasting from the man and the women. Women, they have a sexual breasting water. Water breasting. Yeah. Okay. Mean. You guys are married. Do you experience such a thing? Breasting, breasting water, the woman she have. Okay. And thus, from both and the man and the woman, thus the child produced from both of them by permission of oh, don't forget the permission of Allah that's very important like boom boom will not make babies you have to get permission first and then proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs meaning look at this thing with me not valid the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women which referring to her chest mm -hmm. me proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. It is a fluid. Yes, brother. It is a fluid. Muhammad, he have a PhD in a fluid and textures. Anything come from the vagina, Muhammad is a special on it. It's a fluid. Yes, brother. Come and it's fine. Texture. The child will not be born except from both of them i.e sexual fluid that's so good that's so powerful so the women she have sexual fluid coming from her reps and you american you like to eat reps do you know that even the cow she have her sexual fluid coming from her reps and those american like give me reps you go to the restaurant like you want to eat something good so you give me do you have reps oh i love reps you idiot don't eat reps sexual fluid coming from there Especially if this is a female cow. Don't even get close to the ribs. Hmm. All right. The truth is, it doesn't matter what you show them. Because it's embarrassing, they say not valid. You, you, you notice why they say not valid? Because it's embarrassing. Islam is an embarrassing cult, and the only way to escape from it, should I close the, the, the mouth of this guy or leave him like this until tomorrow? Leave him. I mean, tch. by the way, the prophet, he said something true about leaving your mouth open. He said, Shaitan, he jumped in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Not valid. Yes, brother, Shaitan, he jumped in your mouth. Not valid. I mean, how the prophet, he knew this, man. Shaitan, he piss in your ears. And he jump in your mouth. Actually, if you look at the ears, uh, they look like right see, to be honest with you. And Muhammad is a genius, man. Hmm? 
Muhammad he mentioned to us that Allah he love those who do sneeze once long time ago I opened a chat room in a program called pal talk I call it let us sneeze to make Allah happy and people they come to the mic and they sneeze Muslim get so upset from me I don't know why I mean you practice what Allah like what's wrong with you the messenger of Allah said the sneeze is from Allah huh? not from coronavirus so what this mask from it's from Allah the sneeze is from Allah and yawn is from shaitan huh? truth this is the truth and look they will say to you I'm worried but it says sahih <laughs> so when one of you yawns let him cover his mouth with his hand for when he says ah oh, ah oh, shaitan laugh inside his opening <laughs> that's what shaitan do when you when you do yawning how the prophet he knew this science this is so good the university of prophet of Allah he have a special specialty in yawning and sneezing Achoo. Allah he made me sneeze <laughs> shaitan is laughing inside my mouth hmm. The Muslim make an article saying, the Prophet, he forbid us from yawning, saying it is a... But they will not say to you the rest of the hadith. Yeah, you see the coward? They say to you that the Prophet, he says, cover your mouth. This hadith, he says, cover your mouth. And he explained why. Because shaitan, he jumped in your mouth. But the Muslim, he made an article saying, do you know that the Prophet warned us about corona? Warned us about the flu and diseases coming from the mouth? He asked us to cover our mouth, but they will not say to you the reason. Muhammad, he said the reason that it's, if you don't cover your mouth with your hand, shaitan will jump inside your mouth. Oh boy. Hey guys, please don't tell people to call me. You know, uh, they have... Uh, if I see him, I will, if I say, uh, call me, I will always say to him, call me. Don't jump and say, call him and call him and etc. Take it easy, take it easy. He, this guy is saying, Prince, what is your problem with Islam? So you all Prince followers are saying the problem with the book, yeah? My friend, so all the thing I was saying, and you are asking me what is the problem? A prophet who is saying, shaitan, he jumped inside your mouth. Is he telling the truth? A prophet who said that women she have a sperm coming from her ribs is that the truth so what's your problem with Islam so your prophet he says we are kuffar we are pigs we are monkeys we are filthy we are coward we are animals we are zebra we are donkeys and you are saying to me what's your problem with Islam your prophet he said kill them take their women take their land take their money force them to pay money if they want to live what's your problem with Islam yeah either you are a fool or you are a fool this question you should ask your prophet, not us. You should ask him why you want to kill the Christian. What's your problem with the Christians? What the Christian did to you? We are the one who gave Muhammad refugee in Ethiopia. We are the one who protect him from being killed. Why he want to kill us? This is what happened when you protect an, a, a, a coward. You take him inside your house, you give him a refugee, and then when he is strong, he wanna come back and kill you. For he is the devil. All right. Anyway, thanks, uh, thanks to God. You know, uh, we we did uh, this uh, short video for ten hours, and uh, I hope many people of you will download it and now send it to this guy and offer him. And I promise him, if you call me, I will speak to him nicely. You know, but I will not spank him nicely. I will spank hard. You know me but I promise you I will be nice to you as much as I can and don't tell me what you will call me for just call me and surprise me the one who claimed to be a sheikh those are just doing business you know <clears throat> this is why you see them you know having fancy uh, uh, chairs uh, look at the look at the the Christmas light in the video look at this man do you see the Christmas light there this guy he is worshiping himself 
What is this light on you? Is that the Jibreel or something? What is this, man? Too much lighting on you. Are you Mr. Christmas? You remind me of a Christmas tree. I mean, this what what happened to you? What is lighting for? Oh, you, you tell me, please tell me. You wanna be a star? Superstar? I just made you one. As a fool. Guys, I wanna have a I want a program like this. I wanna put the stars on me like this when I talk. Like boing, boing, they shine on me. Like look how they shine, man. Damn. so good I love it you know what I got a I do not need a program I will get a Christmas light around around myself those those LED you know you can get them from Walmart you know for all for free just tell them you are an Arab refugee hello they will give it to you for free so they give it to me for free and then I put it around myself and they will like boing 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 all over me and then that will make me support star and people will like my video oh boy what this light is about? Are you Allah? You, you sound like Allah with this lighting. And look, the light is like purple, white. I see the purple one, especially the purple. You like purple, don't you? You are a purpleine person. May Allah purple you. A lot of purple. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Stupidity, as we say always, it's amazing, and we here we defeat stupidity. For those who ask me to spank this guy, here we go, you got it. Even we just play only not even nine minutes of his video, a lot of his spanking. So, imagine what will happen if we continue. Maybe some other time we can continue with more spanking, but I think he's done at least for the coming year. And if he is a man, he is welcome to challenge me. Don't tell me it's face to face. Don't tell me face to face. Be a, don't be a coward. Say, I will call you. You can go live on your channel, no problem. Nobody will hang up on you. And I will allow you to speak as much as you want. I will let you even speak more than me. Just come to Delhi. Thank you, everyone. May the Lord bless you. Feel free to subscribe to our Patreon if you like to support us or you like to be updated about our coming videos. And uh, this is your humble brother. Christian Prince, who Muslims say he know nothing. He know nothing. Is Islam explained? It's a stupid cult made by a fool for the fool. If a fool like Muhammad fool you, how fool are you? I don't want to say the word foolish. I want to say the word how fool. It fit more. I, I just to change the English. How fool are you to believe that as a prophet is a prophet and there's a God? If you believe in him, you get virgins. I like virgins. And those virgins, what is between their legs, nobody touch. The Quran says so. The Quran says so. Describe even how the, the virgin private part looked like. He described even the size of their breast. That this must be from God. Only God of Koma Sotra. He have such ability. Koma Sutra is a solution. Join Koma Sutra cult. Get young boys, women who you can see through their bones. Did I say bones? I hope your dog is not near. Uh -huh. Never say that. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. Until we see you again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. Take care.